Hello Odisha, welcome to my channel Chemistry Sphere Alpi. Today we will discuss nomenclature of organic compounds. Students, nomenclature means naming and now we will discuss naming of organic compounds or nomenclature of organic compounds. There are many systems for the naming of organic compounds. The first is your common system. First is your common system. Common system. Or it is also called as trivial system. Trivial system. Common system or trivial system. Students, when limited organic compounds were derived, then this system was used. Means, the organic compounds can be named on the basis of their source or origin. On the basis of their source or origin. For example, one organic compound is derived from red ant that is named as formic acid because the Latin name of red ant is Formicus. One is your acetic acid. It is derived from acetum or vinegar. Like this, a number of compounds can be memorized on this principle or by, remem by remembering the source or origin. When a number of organic compounds were discovered, it was very difficult to name them according to common system or trivial system. Then new system was required and from the new system one is your IUC or International Union of Chemists another your International Congress of Chemists or ICC and finally or till today we are using new system that is called as IPAC system International Union of PO and Applied Chemistry International Union of PO and Applied Chemistry IPAC system IPAC system Students, I will discuss you Nomenclature of Organic Compounds according to IPAC system and just I discussed with you Nomenclature of Organic Compound in Trivial System or Common System That means you just remember Organic Compounds can be remembered, can be named on the basis of trivial system or common system by referring the source or origin. And here it is the latest system, IPAC system, International Union of PO and Applied Chemistry. Students, on the basis of IPAC system, we can name the organic compounds by referring the following formula. The formula is prefix plus word root plus primary suffix plus secondary suffix prefix plus word root plus primary suffix plus secondary suffix this is the basic skeletal formula and by using this formula we can name the organic compounds friends prefix means substituents like alkyl group halogen group nitro group and lower functional group substituents like alkyl group Halogen group, nitro group, lower functional groups on the basis of priority rule. I will discuss you priority rule in the next video lecture. And what it means number of carbons in the parent chain, number of carbons in the parent chain. That means if one carbon is present, that is your meth. If two carbons are present, then it is your eth. And if three carbons are present, it is your prop. And if four carbons are present, then butte. Paint, hex, hept, oct, non, deck, undeck, dodeck, 
trideck, tetradec, like this. And if 20 number of carbons are present, then it is your icos. Okay. So friends, then primary suffix. Primary suffix means type of bond. Type of bond. If single bond is present, then it is your a n e. If single bond is present, then the primary suffix will be used as a n e. If double bond is present, then the primary suffix will be e n e. And if triple bond is present, then the primary suffix will be y n e. Friends, then you secondary suffix. I will discuss you in the next video lecture secondary suffix and I will give you a list list given to you already I will give him uh, in the next video lecture if you want to see the list then you may search my next video lecture okay so this is the basic skeleton formula prefix plus word root plus primary suffix plus secondary suffix okay now I will give you some examples how can we write the names the IPAC names of the organic compounds let CH3, CH2, CH, that is your CH2, that is CH2 and CH3 and it is your CH3. Friends, it is a carbon chain and it is one hydrocarbon. We have to give the name of this hydrocarbon according to IPAC formula. Friends, I will discuss with you, suppose this is your carbon and one carbon will make bond with four elements because carbon is tetravalency in nature, tetravalency in nature and the valency is four. It can combine with four elements, okay. As it combines with four elements, it is your tetravalency in nature. Friends, here carbon and it is one bond and it is three, then four. It is two and this two, four. Two, one, three, one, that is a four. And like this, okay? And this chain forming tendency of carbon with identical atoms is called as catenation. This chain forming tendency of carbon with identical atoms is called as catenation. It's called as catenation. C A T E N A T I O N. Catenation. Okay. Chain forming tendency or self linking tendency of carbon. It's called as catenation. Now, my aim is to explain you how to write the IPAC name of this compound. Friends, you have to select the longest carbon chain. You have to select the longest carbon chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 carbon aega. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 aega. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 aega. Friends, this is your longest carbon chain. This is your longest carbon chain. And this longest carbon chain can be called as parent chain can be called as parent chain okay called as parent chain and apart from the parent chain other part is called as substituent called as substituent okay apart from the parent chain other part is called as substituent friends it is your support cn h2n plus 1 cn h2n plus 1 it is your alkyl group it is your alkyl group and when n is equal to 1 you can write ch3 you can write ch3 and as one carbon is present it is your meth meth and the suffix is yl methyl like alkyl methyl when n is equal to 2 it is your c2 h5 that is called as ethyl okay and when n is equal to 3 it is your propyl c3 s7 like this so friends it is your ch3 ch3 matlab 
that is your methyl that is your methyl the substituent is methyl the substituent is methyl like this formula cn h2 n plus 1 that is your alkyl group and when one carbon is present it is your methyl ch3 so the first principle is select the longest carbon chain the longest carbon chain is called as parent chain and apart from the parent chain other part is called as substituent substituent chains then the next formula numbering will be done in such a way that the substituent will find minimum number friends this is one direction and this is your another direction this is your another direction okay 1 2 3 4 4 may substituent 1 2 3 4 4 may substituent yeah 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 3 may substituent 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 4 may substituent numbering will be done in such a way that the substituent will find minimum number so this is your correct and this is your wrong okay clear this is your correct direction of numbering one two three three may substitute methyl group so you can write the name of the organic compound by referring the following formula this formula prefix plus y dot plus primary suffix plus secondary suffix friends this is your correct direction just i extinguish it okay okay i can write here the name of the organic compound according to ipa principle okay friends first prefix substituent friends it is your substituent substituent like alkyl group means CH3 CH3 मतलब methyl that is one of the member of alkyl group prefix 3 में prefix का methyl so you have to write the position of the substituent 3 methyl 3 methyl ok 3 methyl prefix और कोई है और कुछ भी नहीं substituent कुछ भी नहीं हमको क्या लिखना पड़ेगा यहाँ पे वार रूट what would be the number of carbons in parent chain? Number of carbons in parent chain. This is your parent chain. The longest chain is called as parent chain. And here, how many carbons are present in parent chain? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So, 6 will be the number of carbons in parent chain. So, we have 6 carbons. I have already explained to you. Hex. Hence, you have to write here. Hex. 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 Okay. Then, after that, primary suffix, matlab, types of bond. And here, in between carbon and carbon, single bond is present. You have to write here, A-N-E, A-N-E, because single bond is present, you have to write A-N-E, A-N-E, it is your hex, H-E-X, okay. Then, you have to give comma and hyphen. Comma will be given between number and number and hyphen will be given between number and letter. Number, letter, you have to give hyphen, okay. The name of the organic compound is 3-methyl hexane, 3-methyl hexane. Friends, it is very easy formula. How to write the IPAC name of the organic compounds? How to name the IPAC? Name, how to write the IPAC name of the organic compound. This is your 3-methyl hexane. Okay. Then, I will go to another example. By giving you various video lecture, I will explain complete nomenclature by which you can also able to write any type of nomenclature. Okay. Friends, this is your CH3. This is your CH this is your ch3 it is your ch it is your ch3 and it is your ch2 ch2 and ch3 okay okay 
वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर हो गए कांडो दे फॉर्मूला सिलेक्ट दी लॉन्गेस्ट कार्बन चेन फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योर लॉन्गेस्ट कार्बन चेन एंड द लॉन्गेस्ट कार्बन चेन इज कॉल्ड एज पेरेंट चेन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम द पेरेंट चेन और द पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज सब्स्टिट्यूएंट इट इज योर सी एस थ्री दैट इज मिथाइल इट इज योर सी एस थ्री दैट इज योर मिथाइल ओके सो देन यू हैव टू राइट दी करेक्ट नंबरिंग करेक्ट डायरेक्शन ऑफ नंबरिंग सो वन टू टू में सब्स्टिट्यूएंट वन टू थ्री फोर फोर में सब्स्टिट्यूएंट सो द फॉर्मूला इज numbering will be done in such a way that the substituent will find minimum number 1 2 2 is minimum 1 2 3 4 not so this direction is wrong and this direction is correct this is your correct direction okay and it is a 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 okay you have to write the i pack name of the organic compound friends you have to first write prefix prefix matlab substituents substituents these are your substituents methyl and methyl like alkyl groups okay so yahan pe 2 mein methyl aur 3 mein methyl you have to write numerical prefix like di tri tetra penta etc and here it these are two substituents two matlab you have to use di for two you can write di for three you can write tri and for four you can write tetra okay two may methyl three may methyl so two three dimethyl dimethyl two three dimethyl if it's complete then your ward root ward root matlab number of carbons in parent chain friends this is your parent chain and in parent chain six carbons are present hence you have to write hex you have to write hex okay you have to write hex 2 3 dimethyl hex and then your primary suffix means type of bond here single bond is present you have to write a n e a n e okay then the by referring the formula comma will be given between number and number and hyphen will be given between number and letter this is your 2 3 dimethyl hexen friends this is your i pack nomenclature without any secondary suffix without any secondary suffix in the next video lecture i will give you some more examples without any secondary suffix and after two or three videos i will give you i pack name of some organic compounds containing secondary suffixes till then just watch my video and just inspire me to provide you new new video lecture and if till now you are not subscribing my channel please subscribe my channel chemistry sphere rp thank you